Hi, this is Ken Urban for CSC125. We're going to create a new video. Um, I'm sorry, we're going to create a new class here. We're going to take the stack that we used uh, built into the STL and we're going to write the implementation ourselves except the underlying um, workhorse of this is going to be the vector class from the STL. So we're going to make a stack using a vector. So I'm going to have a new class which is again going to be my stack. I'm not going to put in the destructors or anything like that, but we'll keep everything else uh, the same. Put it in the current project. Okay. And then, our implementation. Um, we're going to, in the stack, we're going to have a vector of strings called uh, my vector. <coughs> um, the constructor, well, the constructor for this class will build a vector. Oh, but I need to include vector here. Include vector since we're using one. We also need to include string because we're using that. I'm just going to put the namespace std here. Okay. So this, um, I really don't need to do anything in the constructor because it'll build an empty vector. Um, well then let's look at the empty. It turns a boolean. It's called empty. And that doesn't get any parameters. And that returns My vector empty. So my vector is empty, then this stack is empty. So let me just put that there. Um, the void function called, oh, um, yeah. <coughs> the void function called, which I'm calling push, which gives me string s, is really just a call to. My vector dot push back. It's called push back of my vector s. The um, function top, which uh, looks at the the top, really just returns. Returns. Uh, oops, where's my typing? There we go. Okay. The back function. Okay. So we're basically changing back to top, I guess, in other words. And then we just have pop. It doesn't take any parameters. And it just does my vector. And the function in the STL is called pop back, which so doesn't take any arguments. So, really, we're just taking all of these calls and rerouting them to calls to the private my vector, and then we put in the string class since we haven't done templates yet for ours. Um, I'm going to leave this constructor empty and we'll leave it over here in stack CPP because by default, this constructor will build an object, which means it'll call um, the my vector. So let's go back out here to the main. Make sure we have all the right includes here. So I need to include um, my little case stack that h out of here, and then I'm going to create a stack called my stack. Right, I have the same code that we've been running. Let's see what we have. Okay, and this one ran through without any um, typos or anything. Um, just to note that the vector class automatically resizes itself if, if more stuff is put in and it'll fill up the memory. So we didn't have that those issues of um, 
overflow. Um, but we do have the same problem of trying to hop from an empty stack, okay, which is, again, we're not worried about implementing uh, from the stack because you should always check a stack yourself right, before you hop. Right? So I know that there's stuff in here to hop on. Um, okay, so that's the end of this one. Thanks.